They're going to be doing an endothermic reaction. I'm going to give them a second to get going. Though. Okay. So there's one reaction happening here. That was an example of an exothermic reaction. We'll come back to that, but I'm going to show you some other things. And I want you to try to figure out what they are. Remember, exothermic releases energy, and endothermic absorbs energy. So exothermic, heat comes out. Endothermic, heat goes in. OK, what I have here, this is a container filled with water. And I'm going to throw a blast shield up, just you know, to be safe. Safer. I know, isn't it always good when someone puts that in front of me? OK, so what I have here, this is some water. And I'm going to add a chemical called calcium carbide. When you add calcium carbide to water, it makes a gas called acetylene gas that gets used in uh, welding. What I want you to do is just be really quiet so we can hear this when it happens, okay? So I'm ready for it. Oh, I can't my glove on very well. <laughs> okay, so would you say that release energy or absorb energy? Someone tell me that release energy or absorb it? Release. Release, so that's exothermic or endothermic. Remember, exo means it goes out. Told us to be quiet, so it's a big thing. Oh, I hear back your exothermic. That's unfair. That's right. When heat comes out, it's exothermic. Okay. To get back to this other thing I already set up, I want you to take the thermometer again. I want you to shine it at this. What's the temperature right now in there? Well, I don't know. No. What's it say? Minus. Minus that degrees. Okay, minus ten degrees right now. So these two chemicals actually that we mixed together earlier now froze themselves to the board. So these ones got cold. That's an example of exo or endothermic. Endothermic, because the energy is going inside of this and it feels cold. As a general rule, if something feels cold, it means it's endothermic. And if something feels hot, it means it's exothermic. Now those examples are chemicals, uh, chemistry examples of exo and endothermic. If it's a chemical change, it means that the actual molecules that are involved change. But this is going to be an example of a physical change that's exo or endothermic. Physical means that you still have the same thing, but it just changes shape or changes form. So you're not making any new molecules. So in there right now, I have hot water. And this is something called dry ice. Dry ice is frozen carbon dioxide, and it's about minus 79 degrees Celsius. What we're going to do. <laughs> so we have something changing from a solid directly to a gas. That's called sublimation. And if it's changing, which one do you say was colder, probably? This water or the minus 70 degrees dry ice? That's not a trick question. Which one's colder? <laughs> the dry ice, yeah. So the dry ice is being heated up. If energy is going into the dry ice, is that exothermic or endothermic? Energy is that dish soap? In. Endothermic, exactly right. So this is an example oh, of an endothermic change oh, as the energy goes into the dry ice and makes a change from a solid to a Whoa. gas. Bubbles. Just out of curiosity here, I'm not going to do this, I guess, but if I was to take my hand and stick it into the dry ice here and freeze it, I'm only pretending to do it because I don't want to lose my hand. And my hand freezes into a giant ice block. So my hand is losing energy. Energy is going out from my hand. Is that exothermic or endothermic? Exothermic. Exothermic. Exactly right. Cool. All right, one other thing I'm going to show you here is dry ice, so I've got it. Besides the fact that this is just cool, I'll pop these up because I like to watch them keep bubbling in. Not all pop around. All right. Ooh. My head has stopped. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's funny, sir. All right. Just while I've got it, do you want to taste dry ice here? No. no? Look at this, it's delicious. <laughs> Try it. Tell me what it tastes like. <laughs> I'm afraid of it. Someone's not afraid? You're not afraid, are you? I want to do it. I want to do it too. I want to do it. What does it taste like? <laughs> Sour. Sour? I find it tastes like burping after root beer. Yeah. Ew. I want to do okay. it. So that's an example of endothermic and exothermic changes. Exothermic energy is released. Endothermic energy goes in. That's the end of my time. So there you go. Beautiful.